Hey everyone, um, today is the day uh, that this whole vlog is kind of about uh, being a pastor. Today's my first day. I've kind of started doing a little bit of things here and there, uh, meeting with people or leadership team or whatever, but today is, this is it, this is for real. Uh, I have to go get dressed, I have to, uh, you know, get my mind right. Um, but I want to take you guys with me because, um, wow, what a day. After years and years of trying to uh, study and, you know, having it all be theoretical, the things that I'm going to be doing in the future, today is the day. Today is the future. So um, I'm really excited and I look forward to see what God's doing. But I'm going to go get ready, get dressed, shave, do all the things, and get ready for church. There we go. All better. Okay, so actually, I got ready too early. Now I'm just kind of waiting. Uh, service starts at 12.15, uh, which is a little late, but we do that because of, uh, you know, the pandemic's still going on and we want to allow people to do Sabbath school um, at home on Zoom and then be able to come to service if they'd like. And so, you know, we kind of keep the space down, how much space is being used and where people can mill about. So that's why I got ready, I guess, way too early. But anyway, I've been praying about my message. Um, I've been going over it a few times and um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I kind of have like a, an excited energy, a nervous energy, I guess, because like it's crazy. I've been going to school for six and a half years all leading up to this day and now that it's here it's just like what it doesn't really feel real um, but I mean this is the first day of the rest of my life and I am uh, looking forward to it I don't exactly know all the events of today uh, what I do know is gonna happen is that some of the uh, people from the organizing body of our church uh, they're gonna come out and uh, they're gonna basically introduce me to uh, my members and uh, just the rest of I've met already a lot of uh, leadership of the church, but there are people who, <laughs> today might be a surprise for them, like, hi, I'm your new pastor. Um, and so, yeah, the guys from the organizing body of our church are gonna come out and kind of lead that portion, and then I'm gonna preach, and then I guess we will uh, go home. At this moment, we have Pastor Ben and his wife, Raquel. And so let me tell you a little bit about them. Uh, you will get to know them further, obviously, as time goes on. But uh, Pastor Ben sent me this um, little bio of his. It's it's only 47 texts, so don't, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a, I'm kidding. But it says this, Pastor Ben Curette grew up in Orlando, Florida, and has a lot of love for the state he gets to call home once again. We can ask him if he has a lot of love for the Gators, but that's for another day. <laughs> In his senior year at Forest Lake Academy, a passion for ministry was born in him while serving as a small group leader. The next year, he would go to Southern Adventist University seeking a BA in theology, followed by an MDiv at Andrews University. And along the way, he met his wonderful wife, Raquel, and she has dreams to be in the medical field is my understanding, right? And so they are delighted to be able to begin their ministry as others have, and hence coming full circle to when I started here at the Gainesville Seventh-day Adventist Church. Whatever may come our way, the church, which is your body, continues to move forward for your glory, for your honor, until that day when you come in all of your glory. Until then, Lord, we surrender what's happening here this afternoon. And we know that you will bless it because we have been praying and surrendering and guiding and we know that you are here. We don't know the future, but we know what's happening now. And we know the future is in your hands. And so we thank you for listening to us. But we also, Lord, thank you for answering our prayers because we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Pastor Raquel, I'm Pastor Raquel. <laughs> well, I guess I can say that. I can say Pastor. They're both pastors. 
Pastor Ben and Raquel, welcome to the Gainesville Seventh-day Adventist Church. So let's give them a hand and say amen. God bless you. Have a happy Sunday. One thing you learn to do in Florida, almost like an instinct, you don't even think about it half the time, is you learn to find just the perfect parking spot. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, you probably already know what I mean, but it's that intersection between being close to the building or wherever you're trying to go and the tree big enough to give you shade. <laughs> Where those two points meet is just the perfect, the perfect parking spot. And people may look at us and say, well, that's silly, but you know we do this for a reason. And the reason is to avoid the third degree burns we might get if we bump into the seat belt after it's been out in the car for a while. We do this because our poor little air conditioning cannot cool off the car fast enough. Number two, in the midst of a dark world, we must remember that he has not changed. Verse 17 says, every good gift, every perfect gift from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation of shadow due to change. No matter what you see, no matter who hurts you, no matter the size of the mountain you must climb, none of this is an indication that God has changed his stance on humanity. Well, it's been a month already. Uh, from everything you just saw, it's been about a month, almost. We're into February now, and I feel like I've already learned so much in a month. Um, the best way I can describe like coming out of seminary and going right into pastoring is like, trying to catch up to a train that's already going at full speed. And what I mean by that is, it's kind of like coming into a group of friends and you're the new person and like all of these friends already kind of have like their inside jokes and they have their like quirks and things like that. And you know that if you're with them long enough, you are gonna have your own inside jokes and your own memories, but when you come in, there is that sense of like, they have a whole history without you. But I have such an awesome leadership team who's been trying really hard to get me up to speed. And I am learning so much every day, like I said. Um, never a dull moment. We're already, uh, we had to put in like a fire alarm system that we worked on. Um, we're heading into nominating committee, which will kind of set the tone for the rest of the year. And um, I've just been super supported the entire way. So, I mean, to some of the Gainesville members uh, who are watching, thank you so much for welcoming Raquel and I into um, your family. And uh, I look forward to the memories that we will create together. And uh, to those of you who are not members of the Gainesville Church, we do have a YouTube channel. Uh, you can watch us online. I'll link that below. And also, I want to continue to invite you into this journey that we're on. We're just going to continue to look into the life of a pastor, a young pastor. And I'm going to take you along, like I said, on the highs and the lows. And I want you to just feel like you're a part of this family. Anyway, I guess I'll see you all next time. Um, until then, be blessed. I'm gonna throw up a prayer for you guys who are watching online. Uh, to God be the glory for all of this. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you later.